Hello everyone, I'm Dan Philgreen, and this is Shell Point Today for Wednesday, April 2nd. On today's show, Joni Reagan tells us about the new benefits now available in Medicare for 2014. We'll also talk to Dick Wright, who is using his artistic skill to get the word out about a good cause. But first, how many of you have been to the Edison home in downtown Fort Myers? If you have seen it, then you know it's not only a historical landmark, but it's also a plant lover's dream, with gardens of all types and sizes. Recently, one more garden was added nearby, the Byrne Davis Botanical Garden. You can learn all about this new garden and see pictures from the president of the Fort Myers Lee County Garden Council, Debbie Wyatt Stodder. It all happens at the Shell Point Garden Society meeting this morning at 11 a.m. in the Woodlands Oak Room. There's no cost, and all are welcome. And then tomorrow, get ready for the spring concert featuring the Shell Point Singers. Your friends and neighbors in the Singers have been practicing all spring, and their musical selections for spring all include critters, from Pop Goes the Weasel to Grasshopper. Don't miss this free performance tomorrow at 7.15 p.m. in the Church Auditorium. All this week, we are previewing the new classes and seminars offered in this semester's Health Connection Catalog. These also include a section called Shell Point as Your Resource, featuring Shell Point staff members from all areas of expertise, whose sole job is to serve you. Here's an example. If you are among the majority of seniors who deal with Medicare, then you know it can be a pain going through all that paperwork. That's why we have a Medicare billing department who can handle the hard work for you. And here's more good news. Medicare is expanding in 2014 and paying for all sorts of free services like annual wellness visits, cancer screenings, and mental health services. Come learn more about what's new in Medicare for 2014 at this Health Connection event. It's Friday at 2.45 p.m. in the Social Center on the Island. Here is a preview. I'm Mary Franklin here today with an important Health Connections program that will be on Friday, April 4th at 2.45 in the Social Center. Joni Reagan, our healthcare billing manager and accountant here at Shell Point, will talk about the 2014 Medicare benefit changes. So this is an important program to attend because changes are always taking place with the Medicare. And Joni, it's exciting because this time we have some positive changes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What's the number one positive change this year? Um, I believe the, the biggest change is that um, Behavioral therapy, um, mental health is going to be paid at 80%. Yes. And it used to be 65. Right. We're going to 80%, which is a big jump. Yeah, it's a big jump. And they're recognizing that mental health can mm -hmm. affect other areas of your life as well. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay. And there's a lot of preventative services out there that is covered by Medicare. Mm -hmm. What are a few of those? Well, they have um, an annual wellness visit that mm -hmm. you can um, do, and they have um, different types of screenings. They have um, obesity and wellness screenings. There are sleep screenings. Of course, you get the uh, flu shots and pneumonia shots, mm -hmm. um, diabetes screenings. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's different, and there's, there's other things too, um, but and there's a, such a mass of them and things that you really don't mm -hmm. think of first. So you really, when you mm -hmm. go to your appointment, mm -hmm. should talk to your doctor right. about what's right. available, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the best way. They do, your primary care physician has to order those screenings to be done? Well, no, they can be done at the doctor's office. Okay. All okay. right. Good. And you can just get them done right yeah, then. Yeah, you can just get them done right then. Um, and um, most of those that I mentioned are 100% are covered. covered. For the mental health services, do you need to go to your primary care physician first or can you go ahead straight to behavioral health for an appointment? Um, you can get an appointment with your behavioral, uh, behavioral health person. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, just remember that it's not just for depression or whatever, but if you have a loss in your family or mm -hmm. you've lost somebody or you are you just down, you can go see them for that. It's important and um, it's okay to, to go ask for help, yeah. even yeah. if it's for a short period right. of time and it can make a big difference, that's for sure. Well, I know you and your team are really going to hit this hard mm -hmm. and explain everything to right. everyone on April 4th and it will be very 
very important because, as I said earlier, these benefits change all the time with Medicare, but we have on site our professionals here that keep on top of it. It is their focus 40 hours every week is to make sure they know what is happening in the world of Medicare. So come and hear their talk on Friday, April 4th at 2.45 p.m. in the Social Center. I'm Mary Franklin along with Joni. We wish you a happy and healthy day. Well, folks, it's once again beautiful and warm here in Florida. Spring has sprung, which means Easter's not far off. You can make your plans now for Easter dining at Shell Point with the following options. On Sunday, April 20th, the Island Cafe will be open 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., so you can enjoy an early morning cup of coffee or a custom-made hot breakfast or lunch. The Crystal Room will be open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., with a bountiful buffet of baked ham, salmon, hand-carved lamb, or prine rib, and made-to-order omelets. It's all you can eat of entrees, side items, and desserts for just $24.95. And at the Woodlands, the Palm Grill will be open from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. with special menu selections like filet mignon, Florida grouper, baked ham, salmon, or surf and turf. And if you prefer hosting the Easter meal in your home, but don't feel like cooking, leave it all to us. Our family feast package will be fully cooked and ready to serve on Easter Sunday. Each family feast contains a baked ham or a full roasted turkey with all the fixings for just $56.95. You can even add homemade bakery items like dinner rolls and lemon meringue pie. To order a family feast, just call the Crystal Room at 454-2199. So, while most of us are planning for Easter, there are some at Shell Point who are thinking about Christmas? It may seem odd, but Dick Wright has Christmas on his mind, specifically the employee Christmas gift. Before you head up north for this summer, you should definitely make plans to donate the employee Christmas gift. And Dick has created some pieces of artwork to remind you of all the employees who will receive this generous gift. We talked to Dick to learn more about his motivation. Hi everybody, it's Jared Pike here with Shell Point TV. We're talking about the Employee Christmas Gift. And with me is Dick Wright, who's with the Employee Christmas Gift Committee. Dick, why are we talking about the Employee Christmas Gift in the springtime? We have about a thousand employees here. And all year long they give to us. So we want to leave this open so you can donate to their Christmas fund all year. You can start today, tomorrow. In fact, several people have already given. That's great. They gave in January and February and March. So we now, keep it open. Now describe for people who might not be aware, why is there an employee Christmas gift? What is that concept? Well, it started here in Shell Point several years ago. Uh, the residents wanted to give their thanks and gifts to employees. You want to tip them. They come in and do things for us all day, every day, and we want to give them a tip often because that's the custom in our country to tip people that help you. But there is a no tip policy here. They are not allowed to take, give tips. So the residents, this is a resident program. It's not a shell point program. And the residents decided many years ago to donate and at the end of the year what a better time to give a gift than at Christmas. So we start it now and you can give any time all year long up to November 28th. It's a program for them and it gives them something at Christmas time where we can all use a little extra money. You know, at least in our family and a lot of families I know, there's no money left at the end of a month. <laughs> and it's pretty tough to save for Christmas. And yet Christmas comes and there's always additional expenses, the present, if you get a tree, whatever. Travel. And it's really nice to get. A lot of companies give bonuses at Christmas to people. And we, the residents, decided we'd give this. Now, it's not just unusual for Shell Point to have this. We checked with several other residents. Uh, communities. Communities like this. And they all do it. The residents in all those places give it. It's a thank you and a, and a recognition of the service they give us. Well, with that in mind, um, we're going to see in the Shell Point Life magazine a drawing that looks like this. And it says, Smiles of Shell Point. And Dick, you did this drawing. I've been so impressed, as others have, with the atmosphere at Shell Point. It's really significant. Wherever you go, 
the residents and the employees, and most important, the employees, smile and wave to you. Hmm. They, they, you'll see a car go by with a resident waving to you. You don't know who it is, and you wave back and smile. But I've been so impressed. There's sort of a glow, I like to call it, mm -hmm. a glow over Shell Point caused by the employees welcoming, welcoming and smiling and smiling. And every month there's going to be a new drawing done by you yeah. of a typical Shell Point employee, not specific ones, but examples. So what kind of uh, occupations here do we see? Well, uh, there's always people here in the pavilion who are helping others. Uh, and you'll see people even helping others walking across the street. You see the fellow with the leaf blower. He's, you probably hear him, too. <laughs> he's uh, he's, he's uh, bothered a couple of my naps, but, <laughs> but there are no leaves in front of our place. Right, it's very important. <laughs> and the fellows that trim the bushes, uh, I get a kick out of them. But I, I tease other people. I say, you come to Shell Point. Take a good look at the branch of a bush because if it's this high, much higher than the others, it won't be tomorrow. <laughs> they do a marvelous job. They even take our garbage and our trash with something used to be my job. Mm. And, uh, and a helping hand is always there for someone even if they weren't expecting it. It's that sort of thing. Everybody smiles and mm -hmm. even and the cook, a lot of the people we don't see often, like the cooks and the laundry people and the the call center. The nice ladies at the call center. Everybody here is trying to help us. I keep saying they help, I think it's 365 days a year. Hmm. Uh, and their, their reward, besides their salary, is doing a good job. We all love to do a good job. And their idea of a doing a good job is, take, is giving to us, hmm. is making our life happier, easier, that's what they come to work to do. Mm. I think that's so important. All day there's about a thousand people that come here to help us. Mm. So why shouldn't we tip them, give them a Christmas gift? Well, you've done a great job of reminding people every month. There's going to be one of these drawings in the magazine every month. And uh, your committee is also doing other things. Mention the other people in your committee. Well, there's Barbara Witten, Barbara Miller Witten, and John Burden, and David Marriott, David Marriott. So the four of us have volunteered to do this this year, and, uh, and I hope you'll be hearing from us. <laughs> because on, on the elevators and on the bulletin boards, we'll have reminders, and you'll see the wreath. And you'll see drawings like this. Now, uh, Dick, if people have questions about the employee Christmas gift, uh, such as how do they give, uh, how do they get answers to those questions? Well, first of all, there's going to be a, a you're going to get a mailing that goes out uh, April the second, and attached to the mailing will be an envelope, and we all know what envelopes are for when you get them in the mail, and all you do is put your check in the envelope, and it tells you what, how to write the check to whom, and uh, and to mention that it's for the Christmas fund, and. Uh, and they can also have it automatically deducted if that's their choice. They can. Of course, you can sign up for automatic deduction anytime. It will be at the service uh, desks at Woodlands and the island. Uh, there will be forms for that. But uh, you can drop checks in the mail all year long or this year or whenever. Well, that's fantastic. So look for these drawings in the magazine, courtesy of Dick Wright and the Committee of the Employee Christmas Gift, and you can contact him if you have any questions about the campaign. So, for Dick Wright, this is Jared Pike, Shell Point TV. Coming up, it's time to go over all of today's happenings, followed by your menu selections and Village Church Connections. Welcome everybody to the happening segment of Shell Point TV. I'm Bev Chanley and this is Leslie Brand and we're going to go over the activities offered for you here at Shell Point today. It's a bright and early start at 7.45 with a men's Bible study in the Osprey Room on the island. At Lily and Company, jewelers will be here at 8.45 for their weekly jewelry service. That will be in the Resident Activity Center. At 9 o'clock you'll find Jurassic Travel in the Egret Room on the island. Also at 9 o'clock we have the resident council meeting in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands. Our last 9 o'clock activity today is the watercolor group with Phil Hilton. That will be in the art studio down in the tunnel. 
The scrapbooking group will be at 9.15 in the Tarpon Room. And at 10 o'clock, the ladies' Bible study will be in the Osprey Room on the island. Men's match play doubles tennis will be at 10 o'clock down at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. And then we have the model yacht sailing at the Woodland Commons Lake at 10.15. 11 o'clock is the time the Shell Point Garden Society meeting will be. That will be in the Oak Room. That concludes the morning activities, and here's Leslie to continue on to the afternoon. Thanks, Bev. At 1 o'clock, we have chess in the library lounge on the island. 1.30, the model train room will be open for tours till 3.30 down in the tunnel. Half we have a health connections at 1.45, balance and mobility training level 1 in the health club. That class is currently full. 2.30 is Jazz and Stuff in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands. 3 o'clock is the Bible Study in the Community Room of King's Crown. 3 o'clock, again, we have a Health Connections, Pilates Stretch in the Health Club. And lastly, at 3 o'clock is the Memory Care Group, Behavioral Health, Medical Center, and the sign-up is required. We have an Indoor Bachi at 4.30 in the Health Club. 5.45, church choir rehearsal in the choir room of the Village Church. And to end the day at 7.15, we have prayer and praise at the Village Church on the island. Thank you for tuning in with us today. Have a fantastic day. Menus for Wednesday. In the crystal room, the crystal platter is braised pork with apples and cabbage. The dinner special is the pasta buffet for $12.95. And the soup of the day is black bean. In the Allen Cafe for lunch, enjoy a barbecue beef sandwich with onion rings for $7.25. The dinner special is grilled shrimp for $8.25. Dinner specials in the Palm Grill are halibut for $18.95 or grilled sirloin for $16.95. All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Hi everybody, it's Jared Pike and Glenda Stevenson. We're on the stage of the Village Church and right now we got a bunch of empty seats, but it wasn't like that a year ago with an act called Women Who Dare to Believe. What was this act like? Jared, it was two women, Nan Gurley and Bonnie Keene, who have put together a 90-minute musical dramatic presentation that highlights 21 women in the Bible. And they use a big red piece of cloth that ties all of this together. It kind of represents the bloodline of Christ. Mm. And they use this cloth in a variety of ways as they dramatize, sing, tell the story of 21 women of influence in the scriptures. And these ladies can sing, but they're also funny. They can act. They're multi-talented. And what, what did people say after the performance? It, it was, there was quite a buzz about it. There really was. I heard so many people say this was life-changing. I've heard people say, I saw them last year and I would not miss it for anything this year. Uh, it was just that meaningful. That's great. So this, these two ladies, Women Who Dare to Believe, are coming back to the Village Church on April 4th. That's a Friday night. Uh, give us the specifics of this concert, when, where, and how much. April 4th is the concert. It'll be a 90-minute uh, dramatic presentation again. But it's going to be a little bit different this year because we're going to be around round tables, dessert buffet. It's going to be just a very special atmosphere for men and women. Okay. This, is, this is a regular concert open to anybody to attend, and I would encourage folks, do not miss this. It'll be $15 for just the Friday night event. Okay, so April 4th, Friday night, $15 for the Women Who Dare to Believe concert and dessert. And dessert. And dessert. Now, this is not the only special part of this weekend. We're also rolling in a women's conference. Now, uh, these two ladies are going to be involved in the conference. Talk about what's going to happen on Saturday. Saturday, they're doing three sessions that highlight specific women in the Bible. Uh, the first session begins at 9 o'clock. We've got another session in the morning. We break for a nice catered lunch, very nice lunch. And then we come back for the final session at 1.30 in the afternoon. And they will weave through the series of three sessions what it means to be a woman who dares to believe. And I think people will really appreciate this. That's great. And so if you like the performance, you like watching the performance, uh, just imagine what insights these ladies have to share uh, personally, not on stage as performers, but just as women. So it's this women's conference is not just open to Shell Point residents, but it's open to the public, family members, uh, friends, your neighbors, 
uh, all women are welcome to the Saturday conference. Right, and, and the Saturday conference is $35 if that's all you're doing. But I would really recommend for ladies that they do the package deal because they can get both the Friday night and the Saturday for $45 and save a little bit. So you save money if you get tickets to both the concert and the conference. Once again, the concert is open to all men and women, and there's dessert, that's on Friday night, and Saturday is the women's conference. Women who dare to believe that's $35, but again, you can save money by getting tickets both together. Where do they get tickets? By calling the Village Church office, they can charge their Shell Point account, they can send a check, and we'll hold their tickets and we'll call. Um, we'll, do, we'll work with them however we can, but we do need to get their ticket requests before the end of this month if we can because of the catered lunch on Saturday. Okay, anytime there's food, we need to know how many are coming in advance. So call the Village Church at 454-2147 to reserve your tickets or just come on by and they'll tell you more about this amazing weekend, Women Who Dare to Believe. We're glad you joined us for today's show. Tune in tomorrow as Craig Norling tells us what to expect in his new aqua agility and conditioning class. We'll also celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Shell Point Gift Shop with some fascinating stories from the past. Until then, this is Shell Point Today for Wednesday, April 2nd. I'm Dan Philgreen, and from all of us here at Shell Point TV, we hope you have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.